Hello everyone and welcome back to Phaedra. We are playing Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Sir, get your mic actually close to your mouth. I bumped it while coming back up from my soda, which by the <laughs> way, some of the footage we lost. Um, Astral got a case of like Dr. Pepper cream soda and we, I don't want to say reviewed it, but I had my first taste of it on video without audio. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Um, so I guess give my review again. It's fetching delicious. It's so good. Also, that's fun. Mm-hmm. I think you can probably warp back to the port where you're supposed to go. Ah, fine. Fast travel is a thing, say. That's not the one. That's the one. That's the one. Let's do that. Here. Yes. <sighs> I have been drinking way too much soda recently. And so I got myself a bunch of packs of of Propel, which is like basically Gatorade but water. It's just like flavored water, and it's delicious. And I've been drinking a lot of it. And I just took a piss, and it was crystal clear for the first time in like a month. Well then, I've heard a lot about these mm -hmm. people. Ah, good stuff. And besides. I can't pretend this doesn't concern us too. Not when they're calling themselves Torna. Charlotte? <laughs> She's, She's so cute. So freaking cute. Hey, there we go. Hey, we got Zeke in our party now. All right, so we're going to take a slight detour for something <clears throat> I remember being a thing. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's just go there. So remember, uh, two episodes ago now, I think, Astral said he had done some, uh, money grinding. Well, yeah. Now we get to see the fruits of that. Long journeys make Tora tired. What will we yes, I did some, uh, <sighs> some hard grinding for money. It took me about an hour to get, like, 700,000. monies. So now we buy the inherited core crystal. Nice. Talk to him again. <laughs> oh. Never mind. Okay. Let's open up that core crystal. Open it on Zeke. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> there we go. Blade. Bond blade. Two. The Zekinator. The Zekinator! Let's be awake. Hey, you ready for this? <laughs> Keep bumping the mic. I'm sorry if that catches on audio. It's fine. You could probably do to move it a little closer, though. Alright. She is a water element ether cannon. Well, alrighty then. Hankering for our banquets? Cool. Yep. So, yeah. Well, now that we've taken that detour, <laughs> we just... Uh, Let's yeah. just leave. So we can we can either we can either continue with like s continue with story crud or there's some other side quests that we can do to get more blades. But I think I want to to finish this business and then I can go get more blades. Yeah. More blades. Get more blades. Economic animal. So her. So Sheba. Her freaking oh wait. I forgot. Yeah, we need to go. We need to go talk to the guy we bought it from again after. Um, a mocking really but we can do that later. Bridget, Don't let us forget. Because <laughs> he'll give you half of what you spent back. 
I want to get in front of it. Hundred fifty thousand. Is there a suitable place to dock? There's a bay fairly close by. If you dock there, you should be able to get to the cliffs above it. Understood. Go. And as soon as yes, we find a warp point, we can go back. Yeah. Um, we take a break from this exciting and time-sensitive questing <laughs> to, you know, go shopping. <laughs> but it's not like there's a war that we need to stop or anything. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. My favorite part about video games. It's like imagine doing that in D and D. All right, you have you're like you have started the main battle. Let's go around in I don't know the Feywild for a day. <laughs> yep, there's our there's our landmark. Um, um, yeah, so yeah, so Sheba's whole um like affinity tree and whatever. Is basically just all about spending money. Let's what? rest the spell. Yep. Let's get going. That's that's how she rolls. <laughs> Why did she have a bathtub? <laughs> Why not? Why? <laughs> Also, the end of her hair is shells. Why? <laughs> yeah, as long as you say, if you manage to sell his, your core crystal for half a million G, he'd give half the proceeds back to you. Does this mean 250,000 G is ours for the taking? That's the long and short of it. You think this thought may be. What the? Truly, our former self was a genius, a queen among queens. The grandpa was also always grumbling about that promise that a set of rock like this would never sell for that price. And he had a point. I mean, two generations later, and the thing was still on display. Did a buyer, but a buyer appeared in the end. Did they not? And now you are two hundred fifty thousand G the richer. Perhaps you should have priced it at five million G instead. <laughs> Doubtless our driver would have paid up regardless of the asking price. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, the, so we got half of our money back. Yeah. <laughs> Fun. Well, let's go back to the war we signed yeah. up for. <laughs> yeah, we just, just pieced out to go shopping for a minute. Mm -hmm. So Temperantia is not a titan. Oh, so it's just an actual landmass. Mm -hmm. nah, long journeys make Tora tired. Yeah, it, it is like find? actual land. I think it's the... Is it the only area of like actual land in Aside the game? From the world truth, Maybe. Obviously. Yeah. Well, the world tree's its own thing. No. You lost the upper hand. Oh no! What am I gonna do against this Mogan hoax? I think it's pronounced hoax. Hoax. Mithra. Oh. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's just <laughs> Oh. Yep. All right. Charge. Let's go. Yeah, there was something I was got and I want to fight it. Okay, bring it up. What are you? This is just a burb. Yeah. Kill the burb. Well, They're not close enough. There we go. Like yeah. One thing that I didn't realize for a long time is that the um <clears throat> the anchor shot attack actually consists of shooting the shot and then taking a swipe at it afterwards. Which is how it's actually a two-hit attack. Right. 
Knocked down. Now you got an Ammon Balgus. Also, there's a thingy over there. I think that was an octopus, or not a core crystal, but whatever. Oh, yeah, it takes the shape of a core crystal. Yeah. So. Well, kind of. Yeah. In like, just uh, the fix of parents in the world. This area has some um, interesting enemies. No friends for you. Yeah. Like a like a large portion of a large portion of the enemies in Temperantia are like level eighty to ninety plus. Oh. Yeah, well, that's a thing. Yeah, it is a thing indeed. Tora, where was? Why didn't you use smash attack? You have one. I know you do. Oh, I think it's not my fault this time. Nice. Maybe you need uh <clears throat> get rock back. Or you could use um Bridget. I think every single weapon she has equipped right now has Oh nice. I think every weapon that Bridget has equipped right now has a, a smash. Rejoice! <gasps> so just sub her out for. For Tora. Yeah. yeah. Use her as the. That one. Tank. So it's this one. This one. This one? Yeah. This one. This one. Yeah. Yep. This bridge is awesome. Ah! <sighs> I don't know why there's just like constant thunderstorm here in this place. Yep. I think the biggest, the biggest thing for your, for like doing driver combos is just hoping that Nia does her freaking launch, which seems to be. Fairly uh, unreliable. Mia, Mia, please. Oh. How did you play Sunshine there? Yeah, so let's see. So now, I guess one thing, just one thing to keep in mind is that your only access to uh, Earth element now is, is through Wolfram. Um, because you don't have Poppy. Nah. Let's rain her fire. Yeah. Concentrate, Rex. Just this this attack does so much damage. You just did like a quarter of its health. Because Mithra is fair and balanced. <laughs> Yeah, we've got a we've got a pretty good loadout on um, what's her face, uh, Morag, right now. She's got um, 
Corvin, uh, Percival, and uh, Rigid. Nice. That's just too much for him. Yep. That? Yep. Um, no and then for you. through through Cor or through uh, Morag's Corvin though, you have another access to light. And so then, I can get that even and faster. Then per and then Percival gives more access to dark as well. So you can get your light and dark off really quickly, or you should be able to. At least. Oh, that makes me happy. Yeah. And then. Yeah. I don't think you need to let him go through in order to actually like get him. Magnificent. Nice. All right. Let's head to the story point now. What? That's where I'm trying to go. Yeah, but you keep fighting things. Well, yeah, you just uh, <laughs> I, I know, I know it's fun, but I just feel bad. I just feel bad for the audience who are seeing nothing get done. Oh, well, they get seeing actually get at the game. That's a change of pace. <laughs> you know what? Fair enough. That's from all the times we didn't fight anything <sighs> earlier. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. They did. Lots of death. Mm, they didn't stand a chance. Look, over there. Watch out! Here it comes. <laughs> Everyone, okay? Just about, I think. What was that line delivery, though? Come on, Rex. We have to stop it. How do we do that? On its back, there's an Ardanium drive mechanism. If we can somehow sever the cables connecting it to each leg, its energy supply. I will think it's. Off. It'll stop. Lady Mithra, I presume you'll be able to destroy them. Good plan. <clears throat> sure. That sounds like a feasible measure. That is, if we don't mind reducing the whole area to ashes. What do you need? I read instruction manuals. It's my job to know these things. The weapon is powered by vaporized Titan bodily fluids. The gas it makes is completely unstable. The slightest shock and we have a giant explosion on our hands. There was an accident here just three months ago because we didn't see how unstable it was. If we just attacked without realizing that... Oh, damn it! Why make a weapon that dangerous? As long as we got the weapon inside enemy lines, destroying the weapon would destroy them too. That was the justification given. That's so cold, it's almost impressive. That's exactly why the Emperor called a halt to the excavation. Can't we gather the people on board? The control center is protected by ten layers of armor. The chances of it being breached or destroyed are low. But that armor is limited. It doesn't entirely cover the energy cables. So, it's them or nothing. How we get up on Titan's back? Why? This this track is so good. But if our timing's off, we go head first down to the bottom of the cliff. And we'd have to make it across, avoiding its attacks all the while. I'll take care of it. Fun? I mean, I'll stop the Titan moving. While it's stopped, you all jump onto its back. Fun. You. All right then. 
But you better be careful. Don't worry. I will. Then let's go. Forward. Stop the loud Into the pages shower. of history. Yeah. Okay. So. Fire on the loud shower one. It's a reference from when we were playing yes. Generations Ultimate. Um, okay, and we just kind of scream it while doing that urgent. Yep, the we the Also, why the fuck does it deal that much damage? It's not okay. Almost there. Ah, we can't get closer. Allow me. Fam. Leave her. She'll be fine. Trust me. She OP. Now, yeah, she's go. awesome. Yeah. We just need to cut that. Huh? Okay. Ooh, An fun. independent defense mechanism. Ardenian technology. My apologies. Why would you even bloody make something like that? Bitch, Lisa, fight. <laughs> <laughs> I love Nia. Okay. This fight is super obnoxious, so I'm going to tell you how to beat it. All right. Let's do this. Walk around behind it and target those cables. So just don't even bother with it. All right. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's literally unkillable. Oh. Yes. This is the only way to take it down. I know because I spent about an hour and a half straight fighting it and being like, Why the heck can't I kill this thing? And then I realized, oh, there's another thing behind it. And then I, then you fight the, then you kill the power lines and then, and then you win. <laughs> it's super silly, I know. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Morag already has a level three. Is hers a level three? Yeah. What? Yeah, Corvin is OP, I guess. I guess we drop. Oh, yeah, use more use more eggs, and then you'll have it up with Mithras, and then you can get the thing. Well, now it ran out. Wait, what? Yeah, it ran out. Cause you were taking too long. <laughs> Freaking scrub. I thought I had more time left on it than I did. Nope. There's a timer! There's a bar telling I you exactly know. how much time you have. There you go. Yeah, what's that shoulder? Oh, it's dead. What? Whoa. That was nice. Yep. <laughs> yep, you got it. Wow. <laughs> That is a lot easier than I anticipated it being. Yep. <laughs> now you just gotta kill the power lines. And not spend an hour and a half fighting the unkillable robot like yes. an idiot. Seems like it. It's you. I thought it might be. Sup. Hey Jim. Jim. I knew it. So this is Jim, leader of Torna. I am Fan Lenore. As envoy of Praetor Malthus, I am bringing you into custody. How ironic that you should speak his name with that face, oblivious to everything, even your own identity. What? Do you know something about... And you, Aegis. Don't you dare stand there, acting like you're not involved in all this. All right, then tell me this. Why are you, who fought alongside us to defeat Malos, now standing by his side? Jin fought against him. It's very simple. I realized he had the right of it. That's all. Very brooding anime for dragons. I mean, no. It's just a general design. I don't think it's as simple as that at all. So clever. You always were too clever for your own good. 
Sorry. That's just the way I am. Mitra! Don't tell me! Yes. He's a blade too. What? He was the strongest blade in Torna. Until it fell in the war. It fell, says the girl who sang it. A blade? There were none stronger. Yet none kinder, I believe. And no one who hated to fight more than him. Why, Jim, what changed? What if I told you it was your fault? Mine. If you hadn't sealed yourself away, then she'd still. Oh. So that's it. Crystal. That color. It's like blood. Careful. That crystal isn't normal. Put away your sword. My ability is to restrict a blade's every action. As long as you are a blade, there is nothing you can do to escape its clutch. Wait, restricting blade's powers? Then before, was that... Hi, bud. Now this is the real thing. Jim. A lot of yeah, he does. He's super strong. <laughs> he wasn't called the strongest blade in Torna for nothing. <laughs> oh. Well then. Yeah, also he has an art that applies break, topple, and launch simultaneously. <laughs> Why is he allowed to do that? Because he is. Why is he allowed to do that? Because That's he is. Just silly. He just is. It's what he does. Oh. Did that not yep. get off? Hmm? Nope. Because he's kind of OP. Oh yeah, he also has he also has a an art that does smash. Just oh dear. Yep. Remember earlier how remember earlier how I said beware empty moment. That makes sense now. Yeah. Yeah, he dodges everything, and then. He dodges everything and then puts slow down afterwards. That's great. Super fair. So let's go fire. Fire, fire, man. Everyone has fire. And then should we do Dromark or... Uh, you can do Dromark. 
and then do Bridget. Totally forgot. I totally forgot about the fact that uh, Corvin can purge rage off of things. Oh, do you remember when when thing sometimes when things go down past half health, they, they, super get, they go into rage mode. Yeah, Corvin can just say stop it. That's awesome. Yeah, he's super good. Also, that felt a lot easier than it should have been. I mean, we are higher level than he is, uh, so. How? how is he still moving? Even that Petroka girl couldn't withstand it. No, it's working. His powers are certainly limited now. But Jin, he's one of the most powerful blades in history. Even so, we can beat him. We just have to work together. I don't think so. <gasps> what? Fun! You are no slave. Be free now. This track coming in. are granted phenomenal power from our creator on high yet we are doomed to never remember why what the accumulation of memories is what allows mankind no all life to grow change evolve but blades are fleeting when we return to our cores our memories are lost our growth snatched away forever people aren't so different Man's life, too, has an end, yes. However, though each individual life is fleeting, you pass on your memories, allowing you to grow as a species, as a culture. Why does Indolf control all the core crystals? By controlling the moment of every blade's birth, they enslave our entire kind. How is that fair? We have no culture because Indolf decrees it. Because that's what your kind do. Jin! Why are you the masters and we the slaves? It is we who embody the very nature of this world. Blades embody the world. I don't get what you... If you saw the last state of humanity, you'd understand. Now that you have come this far, there can be no turning back. But I'm afraid your journey ends here. A chance huh? what are you standing around for show that scumbag what's what what it's Akos Malos sent me time to make an exit ready <laughs> who says we're going to let you go <laughs> you really don't understand do you you really think this is over 
What the? How? We cut the bloody cable. Certainly. But some energy still remains deep in its core. Don't you see? It's like a blade weapon. Well, you seem busy. I'll leave you to it. Bye. Wait. Now we get to fight the big robot. Oh, fun. Yep. I'm going all in. Also, um, take note of the fact that um, Fan didn't turn into, didn't turn back into a core because of the, the weird circumstances of her awakening in that game, or her her resonance was not normal as. Well, I well, no, I was, I was saying more like Jin stabbed directly through her crystal. Ah, so no coming back. <clears throat> yep. That's sad. Mm-hmm. You use that just barely just too, too, too soon. Oh, really? Yeah. There's a small delay after you finish a combo before you can start a new combo. So use Morag. And then Mia should line you up to do the water. It seems like there. Yep, there she goes. <laughs> and then go to go to dark. Yeah. And you should be able to very quickly apply a dark orb. I didn't start the dark combo yet. Oh, okay. So we have two orbs right now. So you can go either for dark or for earth. I'll go for dark will be where I can't be the Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright. Yeah. You can still do the uh, attack cancel thing with your auto attacks on the nuclear cannon. It's just a little bit harder to time it, yeah. There you go. Nice. Let's see. How much health does it have after this? Oh, it's got plenty. Good. Is the answer. <coughs> So, start with, try starting with, yeah, fire. Do you have light? Okay, so go, so wait for, um, wait for Nia to switch to water. There you go, use Nia's water. And then, yeah, and then you can use 
fire either from Bridget or from Pyra, whoever gets there first. Nice. Okay. And then... Should we try for Earth? I don't know if it has enough health to stand another combo, especially since it's weak against Earth. You may want to just go for the chain attack. Four cores! Nice! Oh, wow. Yeah. So, should we go dark with Fire Zombie? Or, or either one works, I guess. Yeah. Hit it, no! Flame no <clears throat> Yes, yeah, so you could use fire and then use croissant. And then use um Percival. Very well. Yeah. Percival or Corvin. Either one. Yep, now a zombie. A zombie's getting tired of waiting. Nice. And drum mark. Drum mark. Yep. Let us settle this. And then Corvin. Nice. Now it doesn't matter. Nice. And it doesn't matter again. Nice. That's a good chain attack. If only we'd had time to just get one more orb on. Yep, keep going. Worked at the damage multipliers. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good. Seven or seven. That's hundred and seven thousand. I don't get it. I'm I'm meant to be a driver now. I have a blade of my own, but I couldn't do anything. I, nothing's changed. I'm just as weak as I've always been. Jim, what happened to make you like this? Is that that Ryan armies? So many of them. What? No. Shit! Who gave that damn order? At this rate, I don't think there's any stopping them. How so? They think more Ardain attacked them illegally, with no declaration of war. This is bad. If someone doesn't explain what's really going on... But there's no time for that. So what? We just give up? Heavy cannons. That's Uriah's main weapon. Here too. More Ardain also readying artillery. I don't care if we're not gonna make it in time. We need to get to Araya. Right. Wait.
and just Indal shows yep. up. Yep, here's Indal. Chapter yeah. 5, Masters and Slaves. Yeah. There's the end of Chapter 5. Well, darn. We have time to make it through what is bound to be lots yeah. of cuts. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we cool. do. We've got, we've got time. Is that the coat controller to the side? It's going to be a little bit. little scamp do you know how much the core you took was worth i stole it from the castle three years it took me to get it and now please she's barely ten years old silence stay out of it <laughs> you die it'll be as good as new you brought this on yourself from now on i'll protect you i'll keep you safe always My name is Jin. What's yours? Laura. Hmm. It seems like sending Arcos was the right choice. been through worse. I can handle it. Jin, I swear I'll make your dream come true. So stop putting yourself at risk. There's still time. Is that part of your dream too? What are we in the end? This hunger I feel, this thirst, is it really my own or is it someone else's? <laughs> Sometimes I can't tell. Tell me, Jin, are you really here? I don't know where I really am. You're starting to sound like a human. Oh, yeah. Perhaps we're not so different after all. Humans and blades. Back to Indal to go.
what's the deal with this ceasefire? A tribunal, it looks like. Praetor on Malthus is here in person. And who's going to argue with the Praetor? Does he have any clue how many men we lost? If those Ardanians get away with this, architect, damn it. Quit your grumbling, mate. All this is way beyond our pay grade. You got that right. We're all just faceless cannon fodder to the bigwigs. CEO says jump, I mean, we jump. they literally don't have faces because yep. they're covered in helmets, so... Those ridiculous armor sets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so derpy looking. Yeah, well, at least there's no war going on. Forth to the tribunal. Hmm. Oh, wow. There he goes. I grow. Perhaps I can be of use. I hope I can use the nice. Freaking plowing through these affinity trees, man. What? Onwards! Ah. <sighs> So yeah. Did you expect that Jim was going to be a blade? No, I did not. And his driver being a little low. Um, she also... What's her name? Is it the same person? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Laura was the driver of... Both Jen and Hayes. Okay, Hayes, that was her name. Yes. Who is encased in ice currently? Yes, Laura is currently encased in ice. Okay. Then go Zeke and Mithra. Indoor. <laughs> yep. Just, just not, My not even a ship. Just, you rip, they just brought the whole Titan. <laughs> yeah. Queen Rikura, Emperor Nile. As I recall from the Assyrian Treaty of three hundred and fifty years ago, the Praetorium was to refrain from intervention in times of war. And yet here you are intervening. But I trust you have a suitable justification, Your Eminence. Naturally. But first, to ensure impartiality in these negotiations, may I present Mira Nira, acting chairman of the Argentum Trade Guild. Furthermore, representing the Tantalese, His Highness the Crown Prince Ozikyrus Brunev Tantal will also be attending. The Crown Prince? The prodigal prince of Tantal. <laughs> You're not introducing me either? The difference in the size of Titan. Yep. What a spectacle! Seems the Praetor has as much clout around here as ever. Could we not just take them out here and now? Good point. All the principal nation's heads gathered here? It'd make things easy later. The way to the world tree must first be opened. Wiping out mankind is the easy part. We could manage that ourselves. Even so... That isn't our only goal, remember? We must wait for the stage to be set. Is Jin serious about this? Yeah. I've been wondering that myself. <laughs> a 
Oh, he's Boom serious. Corner isn't a blade themselves, he always actually. is. He will annihilate mankind. If and there's any, besides, yeah. He will kill the architect. Good question. They don't ever make it certain, or you try not to spoil I it. Think, um, kind of both. Now, it seems. More Ardain has been accused <clears throat> of a unilateral breach of treaty in this matter. Emperor Nile, I open the floor to you. Is there anything you wish to say? While we are still conducting investigations into the cause, it cannot be denied that weaponry belonging to our forces was discharged against Uriah. Regardless of any possible reason and circumstance, we are prepared to offer recompense for this grave offence. So you want to settle this with money? We will provide any compensation deemed necessary. Perhaps I'm misunderstanding. To my ears, it sounds almost as if you mean to imply that the blame for these offences does not lie with your majesty at all. We are investigating. I ask that we not draw any hasty conclusions. What need is there for investigation? I believe a cause has already been established. There are witnesses. And that would be? What a preposterous notion. The people you speak of are merely a terrorist group. How could they possibly command that measure of... It's the truth. I, Ozyclirus, swear this in the name of King Eulogimonus Tantal. Can confirm, ex Chairman Banner, give these people some kind of supplies. Military supplies, methinks, and in great number, yes. But why would... What if I were to tell you that the Aegis Malos, who raised the world five centuries ago, was involved? Ridiculous! Everyone knows he disappeared in a blaze of flame! He's very much alive, believe me. That arsehole, I mean, the Aegis, has confronted us in person. <laughs> and if my word is not enough for you... A blade? But, but that poor crystal. <gasps> this is another Aegis, named Mithra. Your Highness has heard of her, surely. So the rumors that reached us were true. Who is its driver? If you knew that, I dare say your surprise would be even greater. But that is not the matter we are here to discuss, Your Highness. This is a dire situation. Ah, a lot of loading screens in this cutscene. Really, Six that's kind of already. a little ridiculous. Mithra's been in there for a long time now. We've just got to trust them. They're dealing with the leaders of all nations. It's not like there's anything you or me can do to help. <sighs> I've noticed something about Malos. He's an Aegis, but you wouldn't know it from how he's fighting. I think... I'm pretty sure he's damaged in some way. You mean he can't use the full extent of his powers? The wounds I dealt in our battle long ago may not be completely healed. His end goal is Elysium. He wants to go back to the place he was born. There he can heal until his powers have recovered. If Malos is allowed to restore himself... The horrors of five centuries past will return. Or worse still, Malos's goal is simple. He means to destroy humanity in its entirety. Why would anyone desire that? 
Perhaps he doesn't even need a reason. It seems to be a deep seated drive. Weird. Does that little emblem on my coat look as like as natural the as Harry breathing. Potter coat of arms? I have to see it again. There, there. Yeah, it does. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh. Is my <laughs> responsibility. Traitor Amalthus? Whatever do you mean? Got the right colors. It was in none other thing. than I who awakened Malos and unleashed him upon the world. So, your eminence, the rumor that you were once Malos's driver is... I never intended to obscure the truth. It is writ plain for all to see in history books. I was a fool. It was to prevent such foolishness that all passage to the world tree was forbidden after the Aegis War. However, it has become apparent that the laws of men do not apply to Malos. The time may have come to lift that restriction. I appreciate this. Don't think you've earned my trust. But since Rex is going to Elysium, their paths are bound to cross. That's all. I'm surprised you seem so devoted to the boy. It's for both our sakes. But you, Amalthus, who is it that you're living for? Or we oh, to right now? No. You, no, you can have more. Oh, we, we lost more. We just lost more egg. Okay. No, you have to. I don't want to select that. Include. There you go. <clears throat> Girls talk skill. Definitely going to be useful. Where are you going? Yep. Wrong way. Wrong way. There you go. My guy can do. Yep, that way, or is it that way? Let's see there. Yeah. Funeral for Van Lenorn. Very sad. Especially after playing through the DLC where she's a fairly major character, considering the main character of the DLC is basically Laura. I guess they did call her a goddess. The state funeral makes sense. Shouldn't you be with him? He's a boy. Best not to bother them at times like this. <laughs> I expected you'd be more clingy. You really are different from him. Actually, letting him be was more her idea than mine. Really? Paidus? Get out. So wait, you're saying you want to go be clingy or what? I'll burn so you. <laughs> oh, I kid, I kid. Sheesh. <laughs> I love Nia so much. <laughs> Her excessive sass is amazing. I know. What is I just it? love her. I mean, don't you think it's odd? Normally, if a blade or its driver dies, it'll just go back to being a core crystal. So why is Fan just dead? I did wonder the same thing. There's only one way I know for a dead blade to keep its physical form. 
Remember Minna? I mean Cole. He was a flesh eater. Yeah. But Fan wasn't a flesh eater. I can say that for sure. What's that? That's the shape of Fan's core crystal. Well, how it used to be. But now it's a triangle. Rex and I are quite a unique case, but this is different still. How is it different? If a blade shares its core with another, its shape changes in a uniform fashion. In our case, the center part went to Rex and the outer part to us. I don't know why that is, but it seems to be a rule. But Fans isn't like that. Exactly. It looks more like someone stole her core, doesn't it? Oh, and now Malthus wants to talk to us again. Do we go from cutscene to cutscene to cutscene to cutscene to cutscene yep. to cutscene? Just bouncing between them. And it's fine, because Rex is talking less. <laughs> <laughs> They're not. Nope. Nope. You just gotta walk. <laughs> Rage. Yep. I like. I like that. I like that exchange between Mia and Mithra. One thing. One thing that I love about the Xenoblade. And the characters, just kind of as a general rule, is they do a really good job of making the characters have interpersonal relationships that feel natural and um, what are the words what are the words that I'm looking for? Authentic. That's mm. that's that's the word. Why is it shaped like the egg? My apologies. Did I keep you waiting? No, not really. What were you doing? I was cleansing the core crystals. It markedly increases their resonance. Couldn't you just use like soap? Bonding with a crystal carries certain risks, you understand. I know. When I became the driver of an Aegis, this power was awakened in me. So I might be able to do it too. Who knows? Different people are cut out for different things. Right, yeah. No. My work is done for the day. Come with me. His outfit. Okay. Mm -hmm. A special envoy. To Tantov. Popped collars are so last. Correct. So last century. Behold. Well, he is what? Fifteen hundred centuries old. As yeah. A well, he's a century, 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 century. well, he's got. But this is all. He's got. The world we He's got more than inhabit. just a pop collar. Just a little bit. We make our home on the, the Mega Man looks kind of yeah. The world. Yeah, that's <laughs> with the that's hat and everything. <laughs> yeah. This great void. <laughs> this void came into being 500 years ago. It did not exist prior to that. The great, so the great titans, Gormat, Raya, Moradain, and Matrosity. <laughs> Carved from the cloud sea by a monstrous beast known as Ophion. Wait, you mean that thing? <laughs> to 
To be precise, it is an artifice, a servant of the Aegis. Of Mithra. Oh, that's so cool. So if that thing is Mithra's, then what did it attack us for? Doesn't make sense. Ophion was felled in the ancient battle with Malos, sinking below the clouds. This means someone must have revived it. Correct. And you're saying that someone was Zeke's home country, Tantal? Yes. They gave Ophion one directive. To ensure that none approach the World Tree. They sought to prevent a repeat of the horrors of the Aegis War. So, an obstacle was created. The Great Void. How did they manage a feat like that? As I've said, mankind is regressing. Only one artifact remains that can rescind Ophion's orders, and it lies in Tantal. It's called the Omega Feta, and it's guarded by the royal family. I'll take you to it. I've prepared your envoy documents already. Your quest is to set foot in Elysium, correct? Malos and his ilk will surely seek the Omega Feta for themselves. I would ask you to reach Elysium before they do, and inform me of what you find there. Do it as a favor for a once foolish old man, and so that people may have a future in this dying world. Okay, so now we get now we get to go to Tantel, which is his home. Right? Yes, Tantel is Zeke's homeland, and it's pretty cool. Not gonna lie, what is it? That's a nice image. I think we're gonna have to visit Tantel in the next episode though, because we're about out of time for this one. So, family photo in front of the parader. Come yeah. on, gather up. <laughs> Selfie time! You want in a Malthus? Well, too bad. You're gonna be in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at Mithra squatting. <laughs> squatting down, being all cute. Oh, God. oh my gosh, I love it. Well then. Yeah. Yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Leave a comment down in the comment section. Let us know... Let us know... Um... I guess, because we're, I think Tantel is the last of the, um, the last of, like, the the major the titans. titans that we're going to be visiting. So let us know what your favorite titan is and why. Uh, um, yeah, that'll be interesting to know. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Take care.